This is Prince Hanley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure healing, Holy Spirit, miracle working love. I want to talk to you today about healing from claustrophobia. Do you ever feel like you're shut in by air, by water, by situation? Or do you ever feel like you're not breathing fast enough? Although most medical journals and resources discriminate to a degree between claustrophobia and anxiety or panic attacks, there is a highly positive correlation between the two classifications of disorders. When we speak of disorder, we're speaking of a condition out of the norm. So a perfectly sane person can have these disorders, just as a perfectly mentally competent person may have a toothache. Claustrophobia is one of the most common phobias in America. Claustrophobia is characterized by panic that is a result of being in enclosed spaces. This panic is activated by an irrational fear of a certain situation. The situation may be real or imagined. It may be physical or psychological. And it may be spiritual, that is, demoniacal. The important thing to realize is that, no matter what the source, claustrophobia can be overcome and complete deliverance affected. Lots of people mistake claustrophobia for anxiety attacks. The common denominator in claustrophobic instances is the feeling of containment. I'm stuck. I have to get out of here. Or I have to get away from this situation. I do not have control. Something or someone has control of me. Lots of times, minor psychological claustrophobic attacks happen at night when a person is either asleep or has been sleeping. However, there is a sector of these type of attacks which happen as a result of demonic activity initiated through the avenue of dreams or subconscious activity. Most medical resources assert that there is no cure for claustrophobia, but there are certain forms of treatment that can alleviate the situation. But I have some good news for you. There is nothing and no one that God cannot heal. If you need healing or deliverance from claustrophobia, do the following. Number one, ask God to give you discernment over the situation before it happens and during the occurrence. When I say before the situation, in other words, times when you're completely aware of everything and you're feeling good and think it over and then ask God to give you discernment over that situation that causes that attack. And then when I say during the occurrence, when it comes upon you, Ask God immediately, give me discernment over this situation. Number two, realize that this situation is triggered by either an internal, that is inside yourself, or external, a condition or assault outside yourself, source. Number three, believe that you have the power with God's help to overcome this situation. Number four, pray and call on the name of Yeshua or Jesus to help you. Cry out to him. Ask him to help you. Number five, speak the blood of Messiah or Christ over yourself and against Satan and demons that are trying to amplify the situation in your mind and your spirit. Say this, I declare the blood of Messiah, the blood of Christ over me and against this situation. Number six, bind Satan and his demons in the name of Yeshua or the name of Jesus and command them to leave. Just say this to the devil. I bind you, Satan, and your demons in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus, and I command you to leave. The Lord rebuke you. Number seven, start praising God in tongues, the language of the Ruach Elohim, the Holy Spirit. If you don't know how to do this, you can go to my website at realmiracles.com. Click on the blue navigation bars at the left of any page where it says help for you, and then select power. I trust this teaching has helped you, my friend. God wants you free and whole in every area of your life. He wants the best for you. This has been your friend, Prince Handley, coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure, healing, Holy Spirit, miracle-working love. Baruch haba b'shem Adonai.